show off your cool shirt too? Oh, yeah. It has Sailor Moon on it. I love Sailor it. Sailor Moon. Nice. Wait, Emma, I don't know Sailor Moon very well. Go down the list. Uh, who, who are those people? Yeah. Okay, so you got uh, Sailor. Sailor, uh, oh my gosh, I have to do this opposite. Sailor Jerry. So Sailor, Sailor <laughs> Venus, Sailor Mars, Sailor Moon, Sailor Jupiter, Sailor Mercury. Okay. Each of them has their own skill. Which nice. one are each of us? Can you assign us yeah, one? Yeah, assign us each one. Okay, so Justin is Sailor Moon because he's the leader. <laughs> Kelsey, hey. you are very much either Sailor Mars or Sailor Jupiter. Um, I'm gonna are say- Are those the main ones? Well, those are <laughs> Mars is the mean one, and Jupiter is the one that like is super strong and tall, but likes to bake. So she's like kind of a tomboy character, but all she's very femme and mask at the same time. Love that. Um, Andy, I, I'm gonna say Ryan is Sailor Mercury because Sailor Mercury is the tech person who's really, really smart and is usually like figuring things out when Sailor Moon is like falling flat on her face. Hell yeah. Um, and Andy, uh, you can be Sailor <laughs> Venus, the pretty one. Wow. That's your only trait? You are I'll, the take it. One. I'll take that's, it. That's, that's, that's my childhood, that's I'll take it. Was, it. It was great because it felt like everybody else had like these long, like, this is why I'm sitting in, like, you're the pretty one. So, like, and just keep smiling. One. You look better. That Sailor sounds Venus amazing. looks like Sailor Moon because originally her job was to, like, be Sailor Moon's double in case someone was trying to kidnap Sailor Moon. Yeah, that's right. So, like, you're kind of also, like, the last defense bodyguard as well. Why wouldn't Look someone try and kidnap the others? Why just Sailor Moon? Because she's the moon princess, and she's kind of like Andy. Them all. Come okay. on, Jesus uh -huh. Christ! I wanted think, to know my motivation. You think the, you think like the princess of Jupiter is more important than the princess of the moon? Andy? No, Sailor Moon's the only princess. All the others are just sailors. Well, if you all want to know at home, if you want to know more about Sailor Moon, you can what? follow Emma on OnlyFans, where yeah. she'll be talking <laughs> about Sailor Moon. Is it OnlyFans.com? I don't think it's like an OnlyFans.com. I think I it's. I don't like... have one of those. So you guys should name it, or so social. All right. Media, really. So so I, so throughout that conversation, Justin, this is the name is going to happen right now, and it's going to be the name that we call this dog forever. So dur during that conversation, I say at some point, I say. Uh, oh, I forgot. My name's So So, and what's your name? And you just reply however the dog would reply in dog speak, and I'll okay. figure out what its name is. <laughs> Scrumptious one. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's what what you just did with your noises. My brain made Don't scrumptious just... one. So, oh, that's a great name, it Scrumptious. Maybe you. for short, I'll call you Scrump. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. Oh, no? Okay. Ten. Woohoo! Okay, so tell me a fact about this problem. The fact is that, that I... That hasn't been seen That yet. hasn't been seen yet. Um, I think that my fact about the problem is that, like... For the first time ever, saving my own life is the most important thing here. Okay. Well, I've never felt that way before. In that. I've never felt that way before. So if it means another someone else losing a life, then it would be uh, that's on the table for me. Sure. Uh, so this person says, "Hey, uh, uh, don't don't kill me. Just just toss me up there." Put me back in the spider suit. I'll I'll get us both out of here. I hate him. <laughs> um Yeah. I owe you that much. You saved my life. So And I will I respect you enough to not ask you to kill your friend. Yeah. Thanks. But I'll I just I hope that you can just join us and be a part of our world and not fight us and put huge tires on your car and fly flags and stop people from driving and just generally upsetting civil civil worlds. <laughs> That's Can we agree on that? Sure, sure, yeah. I guess when I think about it, I mean, your way of life doesn't really affect my way of life, so. Right, it should, you why. should just get to exist the same way except not be in danger. Yeah, God, this is so cathartic. God. It's really, um, really a smart argument when you put it like that. <laughs> okay, well, I'll be here. Do you want to come with me? 
I guess I, if you're gonna kill my friends, not really. Uh, well, he might not. I'll give him the same options I gave you. <laughs> sure. Good luck. He doesn't really. He's not really interested in that kind of thing. Okay. Uh, well, more you... just power well, hungry. You know, we'll really want to rise to the top. Oh, you think he won't be up? Or... I don't think so. Let's go find out. Hey, what's your name? My name's Lucinda. Lucinda, Phil. Phil. Nice to meet you. Thanks for saving my life. You're welcome. And then we hold hands and walk off <laughs> toward the battle. <laughs> are, are coming out, kind of swarming out. Uh, you see a number of other plush toys, dolls, stuffed animals, um, even a few like electronic toys, like a like a little like um, um, what do you call it? Uh, like a little speak and spell. Like sure. a wind up toy. Sure, I was thinking more like um, trying to think of a fun in game name for this. A glurpy. We already have that one, yeah. Uh, basically, a Game Boy is what I was trying to say. Oh, uh, okay. But, um, mm -hmm. Anyway, a, a Playgirl. Oh, Playgirl. Playgirl. Oh. Uh, <laughs> you guys were so I love excited, that. excited about that. I'm like, oh my god, Playgirl! It's Playgirl. It's obviously. perfect. Oh crap. <laughs> oh god, that's going in the highlight. Um, <laughs> so, okay. So anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's uh, that's that's what you see coming out. Um, but yeah, you have Chuck surrounded. Um, the fight is over. And although you are very damaged, nobody has been destroyed completely. And uh, yeah, what do you all want to do? Chuck um, is bound with a blanket of putty and just whoop, like collapses on top of you in a hug. Um, it's so good to see you. I was worried. I didn't think I was going to see you again. I, I was very scared, Rev. But... I'm so happy you're here. I never doubted you'd come for me. I knew you all would. Did they hurt you? Are you okay? I'm okay. They just captured me. I made some new friends like that hippo back there. That hippo sounds badass. Yeah. <laughs> I I really appreciated getting to know you. Yeah, you're you're a cool cat. Hippo. I'm just glad I'm glad you're okay and I hope that we never have to go through anything like that again. Yeah, me, me too. I um, I I wanted to tell you that um, you mean a lot to me, Rev. And um, I'm was thinking because I didn't like not being with you, so maybe we could just. I didn't know if you would want to just say like, hey, let's just be. Let's just not be apart anymore. Do you want to? Do you want to be the same? The same? Like we can be a part of each other? Whoa! Sure. That's cool. That's cool with me. I'd like to just, yep, always be with you. Maybe we can have like a ceremony or something where that can take place. Okay. <laughs> I bet Soso -so would be great at that. Uh, uh, so she is just kind of, <laughs> she's morphed herself to where she's not like covering your eyes anymore, mm -hmm. but um, but she's just kind of like blanketed on top of you at the moment, just kind of <laughs> relaxing. Uh, Summer puts say... an arm around Lucinda and she's like, oh, this is just so beautiful. <laughs> so beautiful we're so lucky to get to see it <laughs> i will say that in my head i was gonna say that yeah so so would be a great pallbearer and i meant officiant <laughs> i meant efficient or whatever or officiant yeah officiate. yeah also but be a really good pallbearer. for some reason i just about said the words <laughs> oh yeah so would be a great pall bearer. Bearer. Oh, no. a pall bear yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, um so phil says okay so your friend uh peg what did what did they did the collectors take take them? It is about this big and a very sparkly. Oh. Yeah. Very good demeanor and very nice. Just like a perfect person. Very kind of, and eager to yes. try new things. Yeah, yeah got I, swept I, down into the into the sewer. That's what, kind yeah, of where okay. all this started. Yeah, likes to play games. Likes she likes ice cream. cream. Sure. Loves dancing. Yeah. 
I'm gonna stop you there, folks. Her uh, name is I Peg. do know who you're talking <laughs> yeah, about. Peg is her name. <laughs> Real so... sparkly. We say sparkly. <laughs> uh huh. I think purple. There was purple. A lot of. Has this pretty yeah. sunny Translucent, translucent purple, pink, yeah. glitter. Yeah. yeah. Yes. I got you. Maybe it was doesn't Peg. pay they was enough name. to their surroundings. Okay. They Rev should. knows her so well. Peg. <laughs> and so, her name uh, is Peg. Sparkly. He, she was taken to the, to the club. Oh, that sounds nice. No, it's not oh, nice. Like a dancing club? Especially not tonight. Um, what's tonight? So tonight's the auction. We, if you want, ever to see your friend again, we, we should get to the club, as soon as possible. And from inside the little cage, um, Chuck says. Ah, Phil, you son of a bitch. What are you doing, eh? Telling them everything. Come on, Phil. Uh, we had a brotherhood. Um, and Phil says, no, no, no. You are you are a selfish man, and I am with people who genuinely care about me now. Ew. What? And Lucinda to hugs him. And so, so yeah. kind of whispers to Rev, I mean, we did just meet him, so I mean, like... <laughs> but, like... Yeah, we do. And then yeah, scrumptious one it. licks you. Um, <laughs> it's pretty sad that us just meeting him is the nicest anyone's ever been to him. Uh, well, yeah. Um, yeah. That's the deal. You'll see. Oh, you uh, guys, I think I have an idea. What is it, Summer? What is it? Hit us. I think what we need to do to save Peg, we need to get into this club. We have a train, and we have a bunch of people on it. What if we play a little game of pretend? Um, Maddie, uh, we're just friends on a train trip. Exactly. <laughs> train trip. Maddie Man, comes out. Disguise. Maddie comes out and she says, "Hey, hey, it's me, Maddie from the from the engine." Um, oh, this hi, is our Maddie. friend. We made a friend too. Hey. Oh, nice. Hi. I didn't. Hey, I only Maddie. made. Well, I I'm made Lucinda. scrumptious one. Oh, nice everybody, this is scrumptious one, and I like. Yeah. Nay on on the dog. <laughs> Hello. Hi, scrumptious one. I'm Lucinda. Nice. Please to meet don't you. eat me. <laughs> um, Maddie says, um. Okay, so a couple things. First of all, I'm I'm really worried about my partner, um, Herbie. Um, this train was actually headed for um, for for where for her, for where they take the toys that um, you know don't go to the club. Does that make sense? Oh. Um, so they go back home to their family and friends. Or they That's... get destroyed. And Phil says, "I um, I'm ashamed to say that this train was headed for the beyond. The beyond. Oh, where's where, that? Uh, the mysterious where, beyond. Where toys don't come back from. Oh uh, crap! Isn't it how? Well, because then we where's just, the club? You destroy them. Oh, you destroy them. Um, the club is there, and he points at one of the large, one of the tallest buildings in the downtown area, and he says, "It's uh, it's up there." Um, do you suggest that we take boats? What? How do we get there? Uh, well, we could take this train, but then Maddie says, "Yeah, the train's not on right, a track." But or the problem right? is that the train um is supposed to be headed for the track for the beyond, and if it doesn't go to the beyond then they'll they, know they're gonna hurt herbie maybe we could um, send part of the train to the beyond and the other part to the club no we don't want to go to the beyond the beyond's where everyone dies well, well if I we mean, can save where... if there's some toys there that need to be saved before they get whatever they're gonna get done to them and at that rasputin pops up and he's like i have an idea yes okay so there's a lot of us right, right. and there's so what if some of us go to the beyond on the train and we disguise ourselves as the bad guys? Oh, I'm a bad guy. And um, and uh, some of the stuff, uh, any, anybody who wants to come um, and to help us to liberate from the beyond can go do that um, and maybe just help uh, Maddie's, Maddie's partner from not getting hurt. But you need to go save your friend Peg. You, this is what you've been wanting to do for a long time, yes? So, yes. so the five of you go save, go save Peg, and then come meet us at the Beyond after, yes? Or like you guys idea? can bring everyone from the Beyond back, 
to bring all of that power back to help defeat the collectors once and for all. Oh, that sounds good too. Yes. Would so all you of do us, that? Would okay. all of us be able to fit on Scrumptious one? Um. Yeah. Or do we need like Ryder? Maybe that'd be better to have the the four of you. Uh, could all fit on Scrumptious one. Yes. Well, not Rev. But... Not Rev. Yeah, Rev can drive. Yeah, and Olivia <laughs> and somebody else could ride in Rev too. So yeah. Yeah. Between okay. Rev and Scrumptious one, you guys would be fine. Cool. Um. Okay. So we'll make sure that we get upgraded and stuff before we go for sure. Oh, yeah. is but... this gonna be a heist? Yeah. I love mm. a heist. <laughs> um. So Phil says a dragon heist. <gasps> Phil says, um, honey, <laughs> uh, right. So, um, Ryder, you take everyone with the train and, uh, show them the beyond. I mean, Maddie knows the way too. I think I'll accompany these guys, um, to the club. Maybe this be an Phil? inside man. That's right. Of Phil. course it's Phil. Kelsey, could it's you me. not tell by and the he puts the visor up and he says, Phil. This sound was really bright, and she's like, is that Phil? <laughs> it's me. It's Phil. Okay. I owe you a life debt, and I'm sticking with you, lady. Thanks, Phil. I really appreciate this. And Rasputin kind of, like, rolls his eyes, and he's like, what? Oh, wait. Do me and Phil have a, ah! hold, a hold? You do, yeah. Yes. I mean, a, a tie. tie or a hold? A tie. <laughs> you have a tie. Yeah, a tie. Pretty tie. Different things. Can Simon come with our, Can Tom come with us? <laughs> Or should Tom come stay with the train? So Maddie says, well, I, I need Tom to operate the train if okay. we're going to use the train. Oh, Maddie, you, you can be the new conductor with, with Tom. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I was. And now oh. I will be again. <laughs> well, here, I'll just let you have I had to back. I had to push his buttons to make him make sure he was operating. But his oh. programming kept me from actually doing anything against it. But you somehow beat the programming. You beat the game. No, it's nothing. I, it helps I've to have never, hands. In all my years, I've never seen anything like it. Aw, I will tell tales of you to Herbie and our 